Hey guys, it's Jackie. I hope you're all doing well. I literally look scrunched in this video. So I have a haul for you tonight of a place that I just discovered a few weeks ago that Joe and I have gone into a couple of times. There's one in Toledo, there's one in Ann Arbor, and those are the only two that we've been to. And the name of the store is Buff City Soap. So let's do a thumbnail. So funny story, I thought it said soup. I was really, really hungry. And I told Joe, I said, wouldn't it be really nice if we can go to that soup place and get salad with that soup? And he started laughing. He's like, Jack, it's soap. Anyways, we went in. These are a few things that I've picked up over the last two or three weeks. She's scratching her scratching post. <laughs> Joe's trying to figure out what Jazz is. She's right here. Um, so what they're known for is their laundry soap. But what I really like is their body butter a lot of things. So let me just show you what I've gotten. Um, the first thing here is the laundry soap and I got this in the scent pumpkin pecan waffles. Now this is only available in the Toledo store. I think this is a leftover oil from last year. So here is the container of soap. It's 30 loads of laundry. Um, I think you use two scoops, but what I was going to say is I think, um, Oh, this smells so good. There's only four ingredients in here. Um, so what I was going to say is I think that this is good for sensitive skin. I'm not sure if the fragrance is, um, but it's citric acid, it's washing soda, fragrance, and coconut oil. So just those four ingredients. This is a 30 ounce container. And if you keep the container and take it back and get a dollar off your next soap, um, a lot of the times they're doing a buy one, get one half off. This is $16 for the container, but really, really well worth it. And I will tell you that your laundry is going to smell so good. I washed our sheets in this, our everyday clothes. Everything has smelled very, very nice. I have several containers of the laundry detergent, excuse me, soap. It's not detergent in different fragrances. So I wanted to share that with you guys. Another item is the scrub. This is, I think, yeah, it's sugar scrub because it says sugar, um, rape seed, oil, olive oil, fruit oil, and fragrance. And I got this one in the pumpkin pecan waffles too. Um, really, really good. And you can see how pretty that is. It is very, very, uh, um, astringent's not the word but it's the sugar helps get off all the dead skin I, I like to use it on my arms and my legs um and it is really really fragranted and you can see the oil in there oh my gosh so excited to have the pumpkin pecan waffles and then the body butters are really really nice and I'll show you how hydrating they are so if they have um they have unscented and when you go in there if you don't see the scent that you want they can make it for you they can customize it so one of the ones that I got is coconut it's one of their standard fragrances oh, and you can see but when you put it on your fingers like the heat from your skin just helps it to look at that it's so moisturizing and so hydrating. Look at that. And it takes a minute and your skin literally soaks this in. It is great. I have really dry skin. I've talked about that for years here on my channel. Um, and then this one is aloe and clover and it smells just like what I call the essence of Disney. You guys have known about that for a long time here on my channel. It's I think the same name and you can get it in Disney Springs. Look how hydrating. I love this for my legs and my arms and it's so fragranted. It's so pretty. I love that aloe and clover. That's the one that to me smells like the essence of Disney. And I also have this in the laundry soap. It's perfection. So let me show you some of the things. Oh, the lotion bar. I don't know if any of you remember uh, Bath and Body Works had a lotion bar a couple of years ago in the H2O line. I don't think it was, the, it was a hydrate hydration line the H2O hydration line. And that's kind of what these lotion bars remind me of. So I like to use this on my legs. This one is in the fragrance Magnolia. And it's literally just a bar of lotion, like a big chapstick. And you just put it on and rub it in. So it's super hydrating. 
similar to the um, body butter. I love it a lot. So that is the lotion bar that you can get at Buff City. Another thing that I like to do, so when I get out of the shower or the bath and my skin is still damp, I will spray some of their shower oil. This is in the aloe and clover as well. I'll spray it directly on my hands. I don't know. It's basically an oil and I just put it all over my skin. I am getting ready to go take a shower. So, oh my God, that smells so good. And so this is just a few ingredients as well. It's uh, rapeseed, which I don't know what rapeseed is. I don't like the name of that. Olive oil, fruit oil, fragrance, sweet almond oil, hemp seed oil, and avocado. So all kinds of different oils. Um, I don't rinse this off. I literally put this on and then my body butter right over top of it or another lotion. And I haven't had any issues with it. I love it that way because my skin is so dry and it's so hydrating. What's really nice is they have these soap sleeves and you can get a bar of soap. So here's one that's local to Ann Arbor. It's called Pioneer P Pride. Um, the high school, one of the high schools in Ann Arbor is called Pioneer High. And this to me smells so good. I don't know what the fragrances are in here, but I love this one. I also got it in a body butter as well. They had one that's called Maize and Blue. I think I'm gonna have to go back and get that one. It's for U of M. That's what I'm wearing right now, Michigan colors. So you put the soap into the sleeve and it helps with exfoliating and keeping the your soap longer, like the longevity longer. So I got a couple of those, one for Joe, one for me, and then that's an extra one. Another thing they're known for is their bath bombs. And this is in the uh, fragrance Fruity Loop and it smells just like Fruit Loops or Fruity Pebbles. It's so pretty. I like to cut this in half and when you put this in your bathtub, it is so hydrating. I'm telling you, their bath bombs are way more hydrating than Lush, in my humble opinion. Another really cool thing that I got from them is this shave bar. I haven't tried it yet. This is Good Morning Sunshine. And it's supposed to be really good for, like, shaving your arms and legs and stuff. I can't really smell it through the packaging. But, like I said, I haven't tried this yet. I'm... I'm interested to see how that comes across. I did get the bar of soap in maize and blue, but what I was saying is I should get the body butter in maize and blue. So here it is blue and yellow or maize and blue. It smells so good to me. It kind of has a mint note to it. Ooh, I like that. So good. What else did I get? Oh, I got one of these for Joe. It's a shower fizz. And this is in lemongrass and eucalyptus. It's four ounces. And I guess what you do is you put this, like if the shower head is over here, you would put this behind you. And when the water hits it, the fragrance, it's like a very aromatherapeutic kind of a shower. And this smells so good. This is lemongrass and eucalyptus. I figured Joe would really like that. He loves eucalyptus. And then every time you go, they give you some samples. So I did get some samples of bars of soap. I don't know what fragrances they are. And they also gave me a single-use laundry soap. Um, and this is in patchouli sandalwood. It's really very fragranted. And then I got this bar of soap. It's a really good size sample. And also this one. Really good size. They smell so good. I think this is Good Morning Sunshine. I don't know which one this one is but they smell really good. So there you have it. That's what I picked up from Buff City Soap. I was really excited to discover them. Really, really great people. I love the stores. They are so aesthetically pleasing, very clean. Teal is like their color. It is so pretty. My one sister and niece, we all like to decorate in teal. So there you have it. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you've been to Buff, let me know, now, let me know down below and I will talk to you soon. Bye.